Hey guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my top 15 planner spreads of all time. It was really hard to narrow it down to 10. I wanted to do a top 10, but let's face it, I really do like a lot of my spreads. So it was difficult, so I decided to make it 15 instead. So stay tuned if you wanna see which 15 I chose. Okay, I tried to narrow this down to 10 spreads, but let's be honest, I do like a lot of my spreads, so it was really hard after two years of planning to try to figure that out. So I did pick 15 of my top spreads. I know I just did a flip through of this year's planner, but I thought you might want to know what my favorite ones were and why I chose them. So I'm gonna start from the beginning. So this is my 2018 planner. I started planning in January of 2018. So a lot of the ones in the beginning I don't like as much, obviously, because, you know, they were new. I was new. So, but I'll show you, I'll, I'll show you what my favorite ones were for 2018. And actually there's one, two, three, four, five, six. I did pick six of them for that year. So you can tell that I actually, as the years, the, like my planning went on, I started to like my planner better. So there's a lot more from 2019 that I chose than from 2018. So, but let's see, let me just get to the first one here. What did I do? Oh, they're stuck together. Okay, oh my goodness. This is what happens when you use washi tape to like try to mark the pages. Okay, so this is my first favorite spread that I ever made. Um, the way I started this spread was I took this washi tape and I was like, this is really, really cute. Let me put this along the bottom of the page. And then I decided I would doodle some more houses up here. So these are my doodles and then this is the washi. And something about this just really appeals to me. I think it's because, well, the doodles, but also I used um, orange and like this periwinkle and it's kind of a color combo you wouldn't think would go together but it goes together really well and I chose it because of the colors in this washi tape so I really really liked this it was busy but that's kind of my style and so I had a lot of fun doing this and I remember being really thrilled and I liked how I when I checked things off, I colored it in with that same colored pencil periwinkle color, and I thought that was really cute. So now let's move on to the second favorite spread. You guys might recognize this. This was that one of the spreads that I sent in to the Happy Planner for my Happy Planner Squad application, and this did make its way around. Um, it was actually in a in a meme in like a planner meme or something. Somebody asked me if they could use it and um, I was honored. So my first rainbow spread and I love how this one turned out. I think it was really cool because I did these flower drawings and I had so much fun doing these. I actually did these twice. I, I had doodled them onto several pieces of paper and put them in my planner, but then something went wrong. I forget what it was and I had to redo it. So I drew them right in the planner instead and used different washi tape for each section. Looking back on this, I should have whited it out underneath because I guess there's like a blue line, but I didn't know back then that I could do that. So you can kind of see through it a little bit, but this up here was cute. Like I just love everything about this. It makes me feel good. It's very symmetrical and um, yeah, I was really happy this, with this one. This one is my third favorite. I mean, they're not in order, they're in chronological order. So I really liked this one. This I actually submitted to my, uh, for my application as well, because something about the colors appealed to me. So I liked how, when I originally started the spread, I was only gonna do a teal and black, but then something just made me change it and add in this yellow in the middle. So there's something very appealing to me about that, having all of this the same and then a strip of color here 
kind of to make it pop. I really liked that and I liked my little mountains that I made out of washi tape over here. <laughs> um, so it's just the little things. I like the little doodles. Um, pretty happy with this. I worked really hard on this because again this was for my um, application so I wanted to make sure that it was like really like pretty and that I wrote really well so I did really like this. Okay. Wow, I was 148 pounds. That was not good. Not for me. <laughs> okay, let's see. Next one. Okay, so this one, I like this one because it was the first time that I actually started being creative and trying to switch up the, the planner layout itself. And I'd never seen anyone do this before and I thought, what if I white out the lines that go across and make vertical sections instead? And it was actually challenging to plan in it this week, so it wasn't super functional for me because I had to work around like these sections and around the whiteout. But at the end of the week, when everything was written in and everything, um, I really, really like it. I think it's fun and it's like, summary and I love the confetti that I put in here and I love the popsicles right here like I really like everything about it and so it made me happy to look at it it still makes me happy to look at it all right let's see I'm getting there okay so I chose this one as one of my favorites not necessarily because of the way it looks, but I guess because of what it represented. So this was the week that I went to Squad Boot Camp in California. And I remember being super excited to make this spread because it was like I wanted to show everyone how excited I was to go. And this I had cut out of something that the Happy Planner sent to us. They sent us like a little boot camp um, guidebook or something. And I had cut these out and I colored them all in with colored pencils so that they would be brighter than the picture. And love that, I just love what that represents. I was so excited to be on the squad. I was so excited to meet all of these people that I've been talking to for so long. And so yes, this makes me happy to look at. It brings back a lot of memories. It brings back how I was feeling and my excitement. And this was at a time also, um, this was September, my husband died in June, so it was like, I was still in a really dark place and this was a bit of happiness for me and so that's what this represents to me and I like this yay um, this is one of the stickers that Alicia made for the squad and I think that's so so cute and so I don't know I just it makes me happy it brings me joy to look at this so that is why I chose that one Okay, so this was National Coffee Week, and at first I didn't like this as I was putting it together, but all of a sudden it just came together and everything started looking better, and at the end I was really, really pleased with it. I don't know what possessed me to put pink and brown together and orange, but for some reason it works, right? Like, I, it just works, and so... After it's all done, I like I look back and try to think why are my favorite spreads my favorites? And I think this one was probably because it's very balanced. Like to me it feels balanced. Like the colors balanced, the way the writing is, like some big writing over here, some big writing over here. Like it just feels good to me and very balanced and I really like that feeling. And I also like my coffee doodles. I think they're so cute. So really pleased with this one and um, I was really proud of it. Okay, that's it, for, that's it for 2018. So let's pull out the 2019 planner and see what we have there. Okay, so here's my 2019 planner. Keep in mind, you're gonna be seeing this with rainbow discs. I still have to change them to black, but they were the only expander discs I had at the time. Okay, so this is the first one of 2019 that I love. There's something about this, and I think it's actually similar in like maybe the coffee one, that it feels very symmetrical, very 
balanced and that just appeals to me. I love the pink and black and there's something about these glasses that's very retro, very 50s. This has like a whole 50s vibe, which I wasn't planning on, but I kind of really like it. And so, yeah, this was really, really cute. I had fun with this one. Okay, let's see. What is next? it's a while after that I guess it's showing that like the more I went on the, the more I liked them I don't know it looks like a whole bunch right here so it must be like a really good batch in the fall was it the fall summer summer to, to fall I guess I really liked what I did so this was the next one um, I like this for several reasons one, I love the pop of color here and here, and I love florals, so I love that look. There's something to me about like pastel type of colors and black that really makes all the colors pop, and I, I am, it's very appealing to me. I will say I love that look. I like how this is all black and white, and I've never done a complete black and white spread. I will be doing that, but it bores me a little bit, which is why I have not done it. But this is not boring to me at all. I had, I remember I had considered putting it straight across the page. I'm glad I put this here and this here. It balances it out. And I also like how I did this quote all the way across three days, which I don't think I've ever done anything like that. So this was when we were in Washington, D.C. this whole time here. And it just makes me feel good to look at this. It's like pleasing to my eye. These are sticking together. Okay, so the next one was the following week, actually. And again, I know I'm, I'm kind of repeating myself here, but I think the reason I like this one is the balance and how it's symmetrical and how it is linear like I kind of like that look the other reason I like this is I really like this color combo I think the ones that I like the best are probably ones with a lot of different colors in them as long as the colors are coordinating and when you have happy planner stickers they're all going to coordinate pretty well so love this I like my writing in it I like the pink I like all of this and I like these little plants scattered throughout the page but it's not a plant spread it's not overpowering it's just kind of like there amongst the other pastel stuff and it makes me happy it actually really does it makes me happy so okay let's keep going okay this one um i like this for a lot of reasons i love the flowers here but i also like that i used stickers that were not Happy Planner. I used, um, I forget what it was, but it was a sticker book I got it Tuesday morning. And I just, I don't know. I love, like, it's a little bit different than the Happy Planner stickers, right? So, like, I like the cameras on National Camera Day. I love the arrows. I like these little coffee cups and teacups over here. Um, something about it just really worked for me and makes me feel good to look at. I like the color combination. I even like this like metallic or not metallic. It's like, like, well, I guess it is kind of metallic red over here. This, so, and it was a fun week. So I'm really happy with that one. All right, let's keep going. This one of the ones yeah okay so again we're seeing a pattern here very very balanced it all kind of looks good together the colors match there's no major white areas there's no areas where there's a whole lot more stickers it just feels good for me to look at this and I like the colors I like the pastel um, it's a good combination of everything and I was really, really pleased with this at the end. I don't know if I was pleased with it with the before the pen, but sometimes, like when I first put it down before the pen, I'm not, it doesn't look good to me until all the way at the end when I can look at it and see what, what went on during the week and just, I don't know, make it balanced as I go on, putting little stickers here and there. It changes. 
So when you see my before the pen videos, it definitely is not the same. Sometimes I'll, I won't even like it before the pen and then after the pen I'll be like, yeah, I love that one. So it really just depends, but this one makes me feel good. Okay, this is messed up. You see how I cut, I cut that wrong, it's annoying. All right, so I almost didn't pick this one, but I like this for a lot of reasons. I like because I put the to-do lists at the top of the page which I don't always do. I, you know, it depends. Sometimes I, I do it all in one row. Sometimes I alternate it. I liked this. I like doing it this way. I loved the colors. Something about these colors really appealed to me. I like the flowers coming out from the, the middle of the page. And again, did not like this before the pen that much, but after the pen, I really dig it. I think also I like my lettering that week. It just looks cute. So yeah, that was a good one. going okay so I chose this one because it was really different I like the chalkboard look going on here I liked how it was vertical stripes I don't think I've seen anyone do that and I felt really creative about this one it felt good that I was doing something different in my planner I think this was kind of the start of me using different techniques and just trying different things and this was really um, fun for me. So I enjoy this one. It's not like the best looking, I don't think, but I think what it represents to me is getting creative in my planner. And, um, I had a lot of fun with it. So that's when I started like doing other strange things like, um, like painting and stuff, stuff like that. Okay. Is this the last one? No. This one, again, a lot of different colors that all like go well together. It feels balanced. It's very busy. It's busier than some of the other ones, but I liked the scrapbook paper. I like the gray with the birds. I love these little birds that were talking and it just appeals to me. Sometimes I can't explain it. Oh, I also like what I did with these numbers at the top of the page. I covered the numbers and I think these are pretty and they're pastel and cute. And it's just cheerful. It's a cheerful spread. All right, let's see. Okay, so this one, I'm not sure why I picked this, but again, it's like a variety of colors and they all coordinate well together. I really loved this box. I think that's so pretty. I love this girl with the coffee and the dog and the bike girl and the little cappuccino. Like I just, it's very European feeling and I had just gotten back from um, France. So this was kind of fun. And yeah, I just, it, it makes me feel good. I keep saying that, it makes me feel good. But look at these little dogs. Like it's the little details that I love. Sometimes when I'm finished to spread and I add in little things like when there's white space So I didn't have anything to write there. So what I decided to do was add little dogs same here add a couple like flowers leaves and just look that guy too. look at that like how cute are those dogs So this makes me happy And last but not least you guys probably remember this one. This was recent. It's not my favorite to look at however again, I think I chose this one because it was very creative for me and it was something that people enjoyed looking at and a lot of people I think this was probably my most copied spread out of any spread that I've ever had um, I know a lot of you like to copy my spreads and this one so many people posted this on their versions of it on Instagram and it was just really flattering that that they did that I had taken cardstock and kind of covered the whole area behind it so that's the first time I ever did that and I made this little scene down here I just think it turned out really cute and again I just felt really creative doing it so that is it those are my top 15 spreads of all time I would love to hear in the comments down below which one is your favorite out of all those 15 that I did I'd be really curious to know so let me know and I hope you guys have a great day, a wonderful week, and I will talk to you soon. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for Doodle of the Day. I will talk to you later. Bye.